Welcome back. So in this part of the video, we are going to add water to our groundwater system. Where does water come from? If you answered rain, you're correct. To make it rain, you are going to slowly pour water over this high area we've created here. Now, when pouring, make sure to do it slowly so that it does not flood the area and so that you still have some space at the top. You do not want the water to go all the way to the top. After you pour the water, I want you to observe your model. Where did you see the water go? Well, when I look at my model, I see that there's a lot of water over here. Now, observe it closely. Is this water underground? Is it groundwater? No. Where is it? This water is on the surface. We call this surface water. Some examples of surface water are lakes and rivers. Let's look at our surface water. If I draw a line, from the top of the surface water, across. Where does our water go? Notice that it is no longer on the surface. It is now underground. What do we call that? We call that groundwater. This is a water table. Let's look closely at this line. What do you notice below it? Well, below it, I notice that there's rocks and water. Above it, I notice that there's rocks and air. So we can see that working in our model, groundwater is found below here in the spaces in between the rocks. Now let's see what happens when we use some groundwater. To figure this out, we are going to use our pump. If you have a pump at home, you can follow along with me. So this represents when we draw water from the ground. Now, when you're pumping the water, I want you to think, what are some ways that you use water? For example, I use water to take a shower, the bathroom, right, to brush my teeth in the morning, food, we use a lot of water when cooking. Try to think of some of the ways that you use water. Maybe to do your laundry, Think about the ways that we use water and the way that that might affect how much water is, how much groundwater is available. As I'm pumping, I also want you to look at the surface water level. What do you notice happening? Well, I notice that as I pump more groundwater, the surface level is slowly going down. When we use more groundwater, surface levels go down. So now that we've learned a little bit more about how groundwater systems work, I want you to have some fun with your model. Be like a scientist, explore, experiment. Ask yourself some questions. For example, what would happen if you left your model out in the sun? What would happen if you covered it with a top or a plastic cover to represent the sky? What would happen if you used different earth materials like sand instead of gravel? What do you think might happen if you add some pollution? To add pollution, you can use dye, like the one that we used here, or you can even use powdered drink mix. Finally, I want you to see how does this model help you better understand how the water cycle works? How does the groundwater connect to the water cycle? There are so many questions you can ask to learn more about how the groundwater system works using your model. I want you to go off and have some fun. Explore like a scientist.